Hey GTI fans, this is Zlot coming at you with another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is the GTI server. I believe this is episode 16 of season one. So last episode, uh, I started on the castle garage basement. Um, and we figured out a color scheme and texture scheme and and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I did. I I pretty much finished off the garage, I think. So uh, I know the texture causes some weird uh, graphical display funkiness with it's just the way it is. But when you stop moving, you're looking at it. The texture looks good. Now the flare coming off the pot lights, the spotlights of the um, HV, I can't do anything about unless I turn the lights off the HV, but we need some lighting here. Uh, but you can see it looks kind of old school. The, I mean, if you guys can remember, you know, hanging out in the basement of, uh, of the, of your house and having, you know, the TV, the rec room down there, and uh, yeah, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But realistically, this is something that is feasible, a feasible look for a castle basement, I think. Um, so this is the garage. It really has no other functionality other than just parking vehicles here. Um, I will be plopping in a repair bay. Uh, somewhere right around here, I would think, is probably a good spot in the middle. Uh, okay, so you can see um, it looks pretty good. I, I think, it, oh, I missed some staining. Well, let's take care of that here. What do, this is the texture tool. It's not what I want. Do I have the color tool on me? Yes. Okay. So let's... Um, here, let's put my med kits here. We'll just quickly do this. Uh, use my drone. Always use a drone whenever you can. It reduces the amount of oxygen of food you consume, even though that I'm on an oxygenated planet. It still it still slows down the amount of food I'm consuming. And yes, that was a boat horn. Okay. Let's get this stained. Ugh, my whole block. Okay. Okay, that's just some funky lighting going on, some shadows, why it looks off color there. Once I get uh, generator in and, and lights up, this should look a lot better. I would hope, or at least a little better. I really like the texture and the color of the wood. It doesn't it doesn't it really remind you of 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 like an actual wood beam, like a. Um, I mean, obviously it looks like it's all lamy board, but still. I like the texture of it, how it's pitted a bit, and it's very rustic looking. Um, exactly what I was going for, I think. In my in my opinion, this is this is what I was trying to capture, the look and feel. So we'll get these stained up here. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Is that it then? I think that's done for the staining. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. Obviously putting lighting on the uh, anything that's a thin half wall is going to be an issue. So I won't be putting any lighting on the wood portions. Uh, maybe underneath, maybe on the underside of the beam. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so there we go. This is the garage. Oh, I need some paint, or uh, I should say some, let's call it stain since it's wood. I 
That's better. That's better. Did I get that? There we go. Oh, yeah. It's a little too bright in here for night vision. I mean, and another thing too is coloring. When you're texturing and coloring, night vision just sucks for it. So, kind of got to suck it up until I, until I get power in here and and real lighting. This is what we got to work with. Okay, so that looks good. I um, I think I like the look of that. It's a nice beefy looking wood beam holding up um, other large wood beams. Um, I don't know. I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's get this textured up here. So this was the, this texture here. Okay. So let's go into the generator room. Let's just pull this in a little closer then. I always turn my engines off because it reduces the fuel consumption. I know, that's really bright, isn't it? Well, it'll add, it'll give us some light on the other side there. So, let's just live with it for now. Like I say, we need, um, we need a generator and some fuel going and some lights. So, let's jump out. Okay. So this area here is where the furnace is going to sit and I'm going to have I'm going to have those doors, the um automatic um shutter doors that are that are environmentally sealed with the blue um force field. I'm going to have those coming down, sealing it from both sides. So so both sides are going to have access. The reason why I wanted the garage to have access cuz if I come if I'm if I'm like doing some hardcore mining and I come in with the HV and I just want to dump all the ore into the furnace, I can do that. I can just dump it all from this side. Uh, even though that anywhere I can just jump out and literally control panel into it. But I don't know, just for, just for, for, for functionality sake, let's call it. So I've, I've textured, I've started texturing the other side here. You can see this shaft here uh, goes up to the ceiling. So what I plan on doing is putting all the fuel tanks in here above the, the furnace. Um, oh, it must be snowing because, you know, it snows right through stone in this game. Um, yeah, until I actually put up more blocks, we'll get that weird... Um, that weird environmental effect happen. Okay, let me put some light on here. Uh, so basically today I do have a bunch of gear on me and a whole bunch in the, a whole bunch of blocks inside the uh, HV. So I think what we need to do is we need to get this base up and running. So the this is going to have to be the generator room here. The simple fact, because the generator I plan on using is this T2. So let's go ahead. I've already got this all textured in here. I wanted to texture everything before I put the gear in because it's just way easier to, and you can see this just barely fits in here. Um, do I want to spin that around? Have it facing that direction. I think I do. Yeah, okay. So there we go. Our generator. Um, it gets its own separate room. So now what I can do is I should put the Ford, the furnace in. And let's drone it up. So the furnace, I made a, a five 
by three spot for it. So I'm going to put it directly in the middle. Now, which way do I want it facing? Do I want it facing the garage or do I want it facing the inside? I think I want it. Huh. Which way am I going to be accessing it all the time physically? Probably. Well, you know, I'm going to be phys physically accessing it from both sides because I'll be grabbing. You know what? Let's face it this way. Let's face it this way. Okay. So. We have our one block gap in between the front. Uh, as long as you don't. Well, I'll probably retexture those with the. Um, with a warning texture. So let's throw our fuel tanks in here now. I made 10 of the T3. I had four of the T2. Either loot, I think I had looted them. Anyway, so we'll go like this. Three. Come on. One, two, three. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get them all to fit. Oh, let's spin it. So one, two, damn. I might have to put more over there in the, in the generator room. That's okay. Uh, what I can do is I can put those couple of the, these ones up in there. So, just to fill that right in. Okay. Okay. Um, and then basically I'll just bring this down with blocks. So, I'm just going to go like, whoa, over here and fill that in with blocks. Let's texture that up. Okay, good, good, good. So now we've got our, the bulk of our fuel tanks in, our generator in, uh, we've got a furnace in. You know what? Let's fuel it up. Let's fuel it up. So... How much is it going to require? Let's fill. And I had a lot of fuel on me, so nice. Um, I forget how much I had on me, but we now have 53,400 capacity. So, so whatever. Right now we have 86 hours. Um, and I'm assuming, yeah, it automatically turned itself on. Okay, so we have 86 hours with the furnace going. Isn't that interesting? That's quite a bit. Okay, we have a powered up base. Um, what I really need to do is get this all sealed in, get these doors in, get this built now so crap i didn't make any of the the doors the shuttered doors for this so should i go do that i think i need to go do that because i do have doors regular doors built so i can seal in the other side yeah yeah so is this showing i see this shows a blue you can see the blue force field now on the on the hangar bay so um, that means we'll be able to get this sealed up if I put the doors in okay and some lights some lights actually I do have the lights on me no 
Okay. Let's go deal with that. But first, let's go into here. Okay, so right now we have 86 hours, 39 minutes. If I turn this off and we go back, we have... <laughs> 3,336 hours. Okay, well, that's because it's not powering anything at this point. Um, it's powering the core in itself. Whatever, whatever the, the energy of the fuel tanks used, <laughs> which is minuscule. So there we go. Okay. Let's go get these doors and the other blocks. see a magnesium meteorite out there. I don't need to actually do any mining at this point. So we'll power on our engines and we'll head up to the CV. Although I could have probably put the constructors down here and put in enough stuff to build what I needed and yeah that's okay I want to finish the room off first whoa straighten out come down low gravity planet <laughs> launch in outer space with my HV okay so we'll just uh, quickly Power down, jump out. Okay, oh, the light glare is a little strong. Pot spotlights are very bright and you can't really tone them down. So we were needing, what are we needing again? Okay, so let's, oh, let's unqueue that. Let's unqueue that, oh, we can't unqueue that. Let's. And cue that down to five. It'll just power those off really quick. We'll eat something while we're waiting. Okay. Now we want the shutter doors, CV and base shutter doors. So we want a couple of those. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure I had a bunch of lights, but let's make 10 more. We'll grab all this stuff here. A few gold coins. So I should have enough now to get this sealed up. Not that it's a big deal. Um, I always have a Evo boost on me in my armor anyway, for the most part. Um, but in extremes, it's nice, especially when there starts hailing and crap like that. Okay, so I'm not really sure if my base will protect me if it's not sealed. I haven't actually had a heavy hailstorm yet, so let's see. I think I just... I think I'm only affected by it if I'm if I'm on the edge if I'm actually physically exposed to it but we'll see oh uh, did I grab all the other stuff I think I parabay let's grab those um, SVHV armored window we don't need an armored window Shutter window blocks. Shutter windows, no. Combat steel, don't need them yet. Don't need growing plots yet. Probably will. Stairs, truss blocks, I'll take those. We've got some more deco, some console deco. Uh, those might work for the downstairs because, you know, kind of engineering stuff techno 
console stuff. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, the rest are just railings, CV parts, and SV parts. Okay. Okay, I think I think we're good. Let's head back down. Oops. Get my engines back on. Okay. Oops. Yeah, let's floor it forward. Smash my windows out. Not quite sure if that is too high yet or not. Well, I can deal with that later. Um, I kind of have an I have an idea what I want to do with the with the main castle part up there on the mountain, but um, right now that can just sit there. Okay, so this should just automatically open once I get close. And no. Why didn't it? Huh. Is it because this is a... This is a guild... Tank? Or... HV and... And... That isn't? What the deuce? Isn't this powered up? Yes? I don't want to make it a guild one. Do I have to set like a door code on it of zero 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 zero? Uh, where do you go into? Is that here? Configure signal logic. I've never actually done this before. Oh, here it is, lock code. So we want a zero, 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 public set. Okay, so now let's close this. Sorry, folks, I've never, I've never actually set a, uh, door codes on a private structure. I almost never make private structures, really. So we'll see. We'll activate now. Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. So... I'm sure everything else will just work and I can set public access codes on stuff I've I want people to have access to like I'll probably put a public access code on the on the furnace like why not if I'm smelting stuff when I'm done I'll just take it out of there right so um okay well that's cool you can let's see let's jump out get out and get this going Throw some lights up really quick here. Um, lighting. I can't do it on these because these are thin walled. So it'll stick out. It'll look all funky. I could do it on the beams. Should I do it in this? So what's the space between? Is it an even amount? It might be an even amount. Might be an even amount. Damn. Let's take a look. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve. 
So if I do two, so if I just do one, two, three in, and three in there, yeah, that, that might work. So let's try this. So we'll just put the texture tool away here. Um, so I think for ones underneath, I want to go with the one, come on, one, two, three. I want to go with this style. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Do I just do that on every beam then? Are those the same here? Let me do it on these ones. I think the other ones are, I, I might have to narrow it quite a bit. Okay, so let's, come on. Jesus, stop that. There, one, two, one, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we're getting some lighting in here. Uh, let's measure, these are, these are 10 in between. So if I do three, four, three, three. Okay, so let's do the same thing. See how that looks. One, two, stop it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, the other option is putting it on the, is putting like, there, let's, use this space so this will be 10 between here so if we did did it like here one two three and then we do these ones so one two three no is that right Oh, right, because I can do one, two, three, and then one, two, three. That looks pretty good, too. Actually, I like both. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need a shit ton of lights. Uh, wow. So that's going to require a lot for this room alone, I think. I like that. I like the look of that. That looks good. Now what I should do... Yeah. No, that's... that that That's good. I think... I probably need to go into here though and oh it remembered the last time I used these type of lights I cranked them to max huh what about the color can we change the the color down to a gray let's let's see So it's not as much glare, is that right? 
It's a little softer. It's a little softer. See, it doesn't have that intense flare to it unless you get really close. Uh, I don't know. Let's try a different color. Uh, what about a super pale green? Nah. You know what? I think I'd, I'm just going to go with the default white. Crank the intent, make sure the intensity and range are cranked opposites. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now these ones we want same thing. Okay. So it's already doing it the way we want. Good. Okay. That's good. That's good. Let's, um, let's go in here and I just want to turn the lights off. Let's see. Oof. <sighs> yeah, I was afraid of that. Hardly see. Well, I'm going to have to put all the lights in and we'll see. We'll see if I need to adjust that. I mean, that it's, it's because they're so far off the ground that the light just isn't reaching. I mean, I don't want to walk around with a flashlight all the time, do I? Not really. Oh, well, okay. So, you know, one of these logistical problems with building a castle is the size of the place and lighting. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't need to jump in. What am I doing? Let's just turn the lights back on. Get back to work. Okay. So... We've got some lighting up, but it's not going to be sufficient for our needs. So let's just seal this up. Um, is that the way I want it? Yes. So that's going to be a three by three. Right? Three by three. Yes. It's flush to the wall. Good. Okay. So let's go put this on the other side. So same thing. Now we want that. We want to spin that. Because we want it flush again. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. I can paint that. We'll deal with that later. Okay, now to get um, now to get that door in. Whew, the glare from those sp spotlights are really insane. Well, I, I really like the look of this though. I mean, the lighting yeah, I'm going to have to have some spotlights in here to actually... Now, I think I went, once I get all the lights in, it might actually do something. And, and then I can play around with maybe... Um, maybe doing something else for lighting to... Maybe having something hanging down further, like a chandelier style lights in between the larger squares here. 
maybe. I don't know. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to take too much away from the the overhead height, right? Like I want I want to be able to fit through that door and inside. So if 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 the inside is lower than what the door is, then that's going to restrict me. So yeah. Oh, you know what? We gotta grab these doors. Okay, so where did I put them? Everything's in here. There they are. Got a whole bunch of windows. Don't need them yet. Um, let's get these doors up. We don't need those yet. I could put the repair bay in. Uh, we'll need the fuel tanks because I still want to put more fuel in. Because I want it to be able to last four or five days without me being here. Okay, so we want it flush. Oh, this the, the glare from the spotlights. I gotta turn this off. We're just gonna have to work on on the lighting we got. That's just I can't deal with that. Yeah. We'll just have to use our uh, our shoulder light for now. Sorry guys, it's just the glare was too extreme. Now, do I want a textured one like that? Uh, untextured? I can't do any of the clear glass because they're not airtight. Uh, that one, eh. That one's really plain. That one looks kind of industrial. That one might, let, let's go with this one. Let's go with the default. Okay. Oh, oh, you can see my temperature. The temperature in, in here just went to 22 degrees. So there we go. Uh, this is sealed in now. The garage is sealed. We have a sealed garage. There we go. So this should not require any zero, zero, zeros unless I want to make it public access. So, eh, I don't think I need this area to be public access. I'll have some stuff upstairs in the main castle. Uh, and again, the, the forge I made public access so they can get into the garage. Um, so that means I'll probably put some, uh, this will be oxygen tanks and fuel up here so let's get these fuel tanks in um, so I want to let's lay these down and slide them in oh come on there we go that one there that one there and then we can do these ones, same thing, there and there. Okay, there we go. So that's the rest of our fuel tanks. Uh, I think what I want to do is continue this here. So let's drill this out a bit. Remove the train as opposed to drill it. I really don't need the stone. So I know the lighting really sucks, guys. Sorry. Maybe let's let's just try without. I mean, the drone light is a little bright and it causes a bit of a flare with the. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. At least at least we can see. Just push it back here. So I'll push back. So I'm thinking this will be the wall, the back wall, because this will come across. And this area here is going to be the cargo and constructors. Okay, so let's get this dug out. Wall 
health stone. I'm excited that we got we got actual um, powered up base at this point. I know that T2, uh, the T2. Come on, brain. Um, generator. <laughs> I couldn't think of what the freaking word was. I know the T2 generator is way overkill right now, but maybe when I have, you know, like 3,000 lights and, you know, 100 grow plots and a ton of doors, the constructors go in, elevators, fridges, that all take power, and I, I, I don't want to under power it and then struggle to like knock out walls to, to build put more generators in I, I think uh, because I already had one uh, that I had looted before like why not use it why not why not I'm never going to need more power than just one of those for the space at least highly unlikely I won't say never but okay so let's get some more blocks in here Okay, so that'll be where our wall goes to. Come on. And oops, one short, that's okay. Okay. And then basically we need to, let's just dig this out some more here. Okay, so that should be enough. This will have to get dug out here. like enough there okay so let's get these in oops not that tall come on one down there we go and can I go any further no nope. okay that's good that's good because that's basically the height that I want so we'll just Come on, stop it. Come on, so I'm not gonna do it now. I've gotten too far away. Yeah, and, and I don't wanna do it all the way to me. Like, really? Okay, fine. Let's fill that in. Okay. That's all filled in there. And then we want the same thing here. Okay. Okay. Um, let's get this up to there. Get that across. Okay. So that is going to be, so do I seal this off? Do I do like a, do I seal it right here? Put a door like somewhere a door like right there or something yeah I think so I think so let's do that let's seal it there and pop a door in you can always change it right okay and then 
so well, that's sealed. You can see my temperature just went to 22 degrees. I'm, I'm trapped on the other side of that right now. So let's pop a door right there. And this will unseal it. And yeah, temperature just dropped. Okay. So now when I put this door in, it will reseal. I want it flush with this side for aesthetics. And we're going to do the same style. So the default one. Okay, now my temperature went back to 22. So it's sealed again. Okay, so we've got a sealed generator room. We're getting there piece by piece. Let's get this all built. So I'll put blocks down down here so like that do we really need it that high there and at the back so that'll drop down yeah yeah I think I think this will work. So what we want is we want something like that. Okay. And then, so let's dig this out. So this will go up here. Come on. Pull that down. Okay, so there's the outer wall. Um, can we get a block on there? Yes. The ceiling block. Okay, so now We should be able to go like this. Okay. And then we'll get this in. Now that comes right across to there and there okay so that's the corner okay okay so that's got to get dug out It's not the only thing holding up the roof. <laughs> Claps on my head. Just 
dug out. Okay. blocks in. So let's go like can we run this over first? Oh see that's not dug out enough. Okay. like it'll it's far enough and perfect okay so now we can just fill that entire space in okay and then this one we got to get the ceiling block in first and I can go like this and oh it's not going to let me do all of it. Okay, well, that's fine. Pull that down. And this goes across. And then we can do this to there. This to there. Get. Come on. This filled in. That one, that one, that one. And that one. Okay, so let's. Whoa, it is dark out. Okay. I'm in the generator room. Let's go over here. And it is sealed. Yep, it's sealed. It's dark, but it's sealed. Okay. There's another object. Okay, well, let's just turn around. There we go. God, it's dark in here. I need to get some lights in here. Okay, so let's do some... I use them all. Okay, uh, let's go get some lights. So, at this point, guys, I think because it... it the lighting in here is so crappy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the video here and I'm going to continue to texture that up. Uh, I'm going to get all the lights installed um, and get the gear put in like so the constructors, uh, some oxygen tanks and, and some oxygen dispensers. Uh, I'm not going to bother with ventilators with this place because the the um, the atmosphere is already breathable, so I don't really need to oxygenate the place because it already is. Uh, but I do need to seal it from temperatures and radiation uh, so that my plants can live if I decide to do some gardening, which I probably will. I'll have I'll I'll I'll, I'll build a garden here. Why not? Uh, other than that, I know it's really dark and it's hard to see, but next time hopefully there'll be more light um, and unfortunately I don't think I'll run all the way to the end here I don't even think oh it's dark out anyway so maybe I'll try and time it next time for daylight but that's only going to last for a portion of the episode anyway so Sorry guys, I know uh, lighting is an issue in the game and trying to get it lighting to work in these huge rooms can be a problem. Uh, I might have to put some of those pot lights, those those flat lights down on the ground. Uh, I, I know it's not going to be aesthetically very pleasing, but that might be the only way to actually get enough lighting 
in this place. So yeah, I'll try it out. Other than that, guys, uh, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. And next episode, we'll uh, hopefully have this place done enough so that uh, I can use it as storage. And maybe we'll go do some exploring and some of the uh, uh, content, that the custom content in this server. And see if we can get some more loot to store here. Uh, until then, guys. You have a good day, and I will see you guys later. Ciao for now.